our next segment, mm -hmm. which is test drive. Yes. Test drive is our segment we're going to be doing every week where yep. somebody sends us like the latest training aid mm -hmm. or something that is kind of focused around our brand, the hand to handle to club relationship. And yep. shout out super speed golf. Yeah. You got the super speed squeeze here. And really, we're just going to walk through like what we think of this, what we like about it, what we think could be a little bit better with it. Um, we're always going to be honest. We're not just going to sit up here and be like, oh, everything's right. perfect. It's like, right. no, like we want this to be good information for you guys. So if you think mm -hmm. about buying one of these things, mm -hmm. uh, you feel like you've got a trusted review. So, exactly. Um, yeah, I want to see what you think. Because you. Sure. I've been working with mine quite a bit and I actually train uh, quite a bit with mine, but mm -hmm. I just gave you yours. I want to kind of yeah. see what you think. So one thing I like about it is that because it's like making the actual grip bigger, it helps you understand where your claw pressures are being applied. So meaning that if I have my proper pinches and I place them on this thing, I can really feel it everywhere inside my pinches and like across my knuckle pads. Like it really does emphasize that. So it's a bigger surface area to concentrate Correct. the pressure. Correct. Got Perfect. It. Got and it. then the second thing I like about it is the added weight. Mm. Um, I put this on my real club the other day and, swung it. um, yep. and I swung it and I was like, wow, I, I like, like the extra handle weight because it helps me to feel the natural pushing down out and away against the handle. Got it. So that, that was also a big Something benefit. for your claws to like push yeah, against. Yeah, yeah, yeah for and sure. I like it. I've actually been doing this exercise where I'll take it and I'll actually just do like what we're talking about with the finger extension mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and getting it like in my little like holster. Mm -hmm. uh, it's hard to get the holster because it's a little bigger for my, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my holsters are like, we're not used to something this big. <laughs> <laughs> but it's real. I've been doing this drill where I take it and I like push my pads against it and right. flex my finger. It's, e it's a better placement, like easier to do the finger extension drill. How's yeah, that? Exactly. The Pinches finger and extension finger drill. Extension. Very good for exactly. that. Exactly. Very it's really good. good for that. Um, and it's a little extra heavy. So you have to really keep those pinches good i will say though like this thing is a workout though but yeah what we don't want people to do though mm -hmm. is that we really want people to understand that just because it's bigger yeah and it, it's titled squeeze yeah don't just grab it so we're like not yeah this. i mean here's the thing is that yeah if you grip this thing it's like most people don't understand the proper pinches yeah um and, and the proper claws the pressure. right correct so if we were naturally going to grip this like with a weak grip because that kind of would make more common sense to most people if they didn't like understand this exactly a big you would grip it on the sides like this more and then try Try to squeeze your elbows against it like this, thinking, oh, that's it. Right. But the problem is that this might help you with understanding how you're concentrating pressure against the sides of the handle, but it's not really beneficial when you actually go to grip your club because Correct. this grip is not going to be that big. And if we're taking this size grip and going like this, we're in trouble. it's like, well, first off, you can see what's going on <laughs> with the elbows here. But even if we had the elbows like locked out and we were trying to do this, we just have to still understand that it has to be a concentrated squeeze. Mm -hmm. It can't just be a squeeze throughout that's not understood. Correct. So, so people don't need to just grab this in their palms mm -hmm. and just squeeze as hard as they can. That's right. They need to concentrate, concentrate their squeeze. the squeeze. Concentrate your squeeze. That's it. That's, that's how you key. can understand how to really make the most out of this training because there is a lot of benefits. There's to a it. ton of benefits. A lot of it. We, and we I like, actually oh. we want to do like some videos with this thing. Mm -hmm. Like we think that we could really help people use this product because it's a it's cool that people are starting to realize like oh wow the hands are really important for creating speed like super speed golf. They're not going to put their name and brand on something that doesn't have anything to do with speed. So sure. We we really like that people are starting to kind of have this awareness and educate everybody. Right. We just want them to like be careful because if the average person sees this and they think squeeze, they're just going to go, Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to grab it. Like you said. And then not even if like, if you just have it where you didn't have the arms, like mm -hmm. a part like this, yeah. you just had it straight out away and just swung it, squeezing as tight as you can. Yep. Then you've got basically lobster claws. Right. And then that's going to put a little bit too much tension in your arms, which is actually so when, going to sometimes inhibit your ability to get the proper lever lag and release, which is where speed mm -hmm. comes in. So it's really important when you use this, that you concentrate that squeeze properly so you actually get the proper speed benefits out of it. And one last thing, yeah. the final thing with this that I, I like, like this a, a lot, lot of it is that um, I like the um, the <clears throat> ribbing to it here mm. because if you get the proper pinches, it gives you, it's like alligator skin or right. like snake skin almost. It, like, it's like you can feel it. some friction yeah. like that'll actually hold it in your pinches and your claws if you get them right. So Correct. it's like another added benefit if you do the right grip. Correct. It just keeps it in there. Like it's not going to go anywhere. It's like sandpaper. Almost. Yes. <laughs> but you do need proper guidance of how to yes. use this. You need, 100%. you need like a good set of videos or drills. Don't just, I, I wouldn't recommend like the average person just grabbing it and squeezing it as hard as you that's can. Right. right. Um, it yeah, will increase your hand strength, but whether or not that's actually effective with how you're actually going to mm -hmm. use your hands mm -hmm. in the swing, mm -hmm. like 
I think you should train with how you're actually going to concentrate the pressures against your own handle yeah. in your golf swing. So if you're just squeezing your club as hard as you can, okay, when you grab your golf club, if you try to kind of have those same principles, I don't think you're going to have the best effect of creating speed. Well, and the reason that they um, brought this train out is that they proved that the best golfers in the world and also long drivers, like long drivers had the highest concentrated pressure against the handle. Correct. PJ Tour players like were a little bit less yeah. um, for the average guy. And then when it comes to amateurs, it was like, whoa, it's really bad. Whoa. So, but the idea is it's not just, again, how hard can you grip it? It's more about in the like format, the concentrated pressure that you're doing it. Correct. And that's it. Because if you ask pros, I mean, there's not anybody that's just like pressing against the club the way that no. they want, like in any way they want. Yeah. It's like they have their grip in a way to be able to concentrate that pressure. Correct. They understand how to concentrate their pressure. Right. So then... Because they understand how to concentrate it, they increase that pressure and concentrate it in the in proper way direction. in a certain direction. Mm-hmm. So, like I said at the earlier, um, man, the grip feels so weird after holding that thing. <laughs> it feels like holding like a toothpick. But if you imagine those laser beams, yeah. it's like, oh, cool. Now I know that's where the laser beams need to be. Mm-hmm. Boom, push. And it's like, oh, okay, that's where laser beams need to be on the backswing. Now right. I can really push even harder with that. And that'll like increase like the frequency of that like laser beam mm-hmm. like the brightness and like mm-hmm. how hard it's shooting out yeah but it's again all about concentrated pressure so concentrated squeeze super speed shout out uh thanks for sending this to us yes. um yeah we think it's a really cool tool awesome so, yep. um yeah i'm excited to do a test drive segment so every week yep. uh, people are going to be sending us stuff and we're just going to review it and yep. uh yeah give you guys some good information yeah.